Hi folks, how you doing? It's day 50 of my vlog. It feels like a milestone. I suppose in a sense it is because when I started this, I remember thinking I'll never be able to keep this going. I remember before I started it thinking I would like to do that, but I'd never be able to keep it going. And here I am 50 shows deep and still going. So yay, go me. I've been listening to John Roderick on a podcast called Roadwork. John Roderick is probably the person I would most like to meet. He's, I think he's around 50. And on this particular episode of Roadwork, he's talking about, he starts off with TV themes. Now John Roderick is a songwriter and I would go so far as to say a philosopher. He's talking with Dan Benjamin. It's Dan Benjamin's show on the 5x5 podcast network. And they're talking about TV themes from John's point of view when he wrote a tweet claiming that Game of Thrones was the worst theme ever, House of Cards is great, and then The Crown, which is a pastiche of the House of Cards theme, and you think, whoa, you think this tweet, this guy's off his head. But when he explains it, you're like, whoa, yeah. He then goes on to talk about Tom Waits and about how Tom Waits has a persona. And he then goes on to talk about personas in general for performers. And he also does a show with Merlin Mann, which I've been listening to for years now, years and years. It's called Roderick on the Line. And again, it's just John's philosophy and two guys who are round about the same age, which is round about my age as well. And I can relate to these guys talking so much. John Roderick, as I said, it's philosophy he's discussing. And it's got me wondering how somebody younger than I would relate, or even if somebody younger than I could relate to John's points of view. So. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to get some of the younger guys on here who listen to podcasts to have a listen to the latest episode of Roadwork with John and Dan talking about philosophy, TV themes and Tom Waits, just so that I can get an idea of how that kind of stuff comes across to the millennials. That's a topic John talks about a lot, actually, is the millennials and their points of view. He actually ran for the Seattle City Council a couple of years ago and he didn't get very far, but he talks about his experience doing that sometimes from time to time. One of the other things he's talking about in this particular episode is about how being open and honest in public can disarm a lot of people. And that's a thing I'm trying to do with this particular video blog and with my blog posts in general and in my life. And that this, this particular forum is, is enabling me to extend what I'm doing here into real life. And uh, it's a very interesting project. Honesty is, is an important thing. So, have a listen to the latest road work. It's episode 105. You'll find it at 5x5.tv slash roadwork. And let me know what you think. I'm just interested. I'm also interested to know what kind of content mine would be if I was ever so bold as to start a podcast. It's something I've considered with a particular friend of mine who I know very well and who knows me very well. We have similar points of view, similar age, I guess, but we also have very different life experiences. So it'd be interesting, I think, to discuss topics. Who knows what those topics would be, but just from a philosophical point of view, it would be interesting. I'd be interested to know what my content would be like. Do I have a persona when I perform? That's something I've been pondering. He talks about wearing uniforms and stuff like that to try and give your, put yourself in a safe space as a performer. I thought, well, my hat. I tend to wear my hat when I'm performing, even though it's bloody roasting hot a lot of the time in the venue. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today. Show 50. I'm feeling pretty, pretty pleased with myself that I've managed to keep it going for this long and I think I've got the, the habit now, so yay. See you again next time. Bye.